goes up for yeah. miles. The kill lines are not close on the side. There's a whole extra platform at the top where they can avoid Koslix's crazy lance trade. Yep. So we'll see how he handles it here. It's a, it is a 3v3, you know, so Wubs and uh, Anime Fan could just help him out enough for it not to be a big deal. And you know what? Kostlings has got a lance. We talk him. We talk about him as like the <gasps> lance oh guy. Oh my Whoa! gosh! What a hand off the perfect ladder from the top platform for the early knockout. Low damage too. That was awesome. Oh man, make these in a tough spot now. That is a very early knockout. Less than 30 seconds in. Yeah, that. All right, so that's something that can really fully negate the tall ceiling here. Is if you get a hand off into hand a off. blaster's recovery. What? Did, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Whoops is a monster. Whoops is crazy. an absolute monster. Jeez, Whoops has just been landing blasters, recovery, ground pound, everything, everywhere. Uh oh, Kathy uppercut. Kathy now wow. down. I'm Whoops surprised that enemy fan are up. This is, a, this is a pretty nice lead here for Koslix, Wubs, and Anime Fan. Although Koslix is... Oh, oh. no! Koslix down to his last stock already? Luckily, both his teammates have all three of their stocks, but you can't count on him lasting very long. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. No! That's it goes from bad to worse. Koslix has been getting focused down heavy onto his final stock now. Wubs with the head bonk that's so unfortunate puts them in a really tough spot. Do you think that Koslix's opponents are like willfully like hunting him down? Oh, or yeah. it's I just mean, been look convenient? At, look at that combo that just happened onto him. He, they pushed him right into the red. Yeah. They did a full 2v2 combo in the middle of all this. So it, it's probably not that Koslix just happens to be available to be hit. It's that they're like, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I, they're yeah, like, I that think, is the I chaos so factor too. in this match. He's out. Jeez. Man, they really hunted him down. That's a good strat, you know? Oh, focus, yeah. Focus the healer. Like, that's going <laughs> to... Focus the healer. They've got the 3v2 just now. Just like an MMO. So now that just always means that they will pretty much always have somebody available to punish anytime you hit one of them. Look at that. Look at the turnaround. Okay. Well, th but this is a very winnable uh, 2v3 here for webs and anime. Stock fans. advantage in, technically in fact, they for have, the red team. Exactly. They technically have a stock advantage. Although, very, very oh, in, in the most technical of. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay. No okay. Way. Oh, Wubs is. He almost got it. That would have been so crazy. That would have been like his third early knockout off the top ceiling this game. Whoa! Anime fan just committed to an insane ground pound. Luckily, he's still alive. This is going really well for Wubs and Anime Fan. They're yeah. holding on, but they still have their, their second stocks. The longer this takes, the more it benefits Wubs and Anime Fan. Yeah. Because that's that chip damage is just going to build up. You see Radish, it's, Taffy, and Meg D building it, into the yeah, red. It doesn't matter to build up any more damage on Wubs or Anime Fan. They need the knockouts. There's yep. one on Wubs. Now they're looking for it on Anime Fan, and Radish Got gets it. it. This is... This could go either way here. I, I'd go so far as to say as Wubs and Anime Fan are at an advantage right now, despite being in a 2v3. Yeah, they're playing some- They have the advantage. Some characters with really strong signatures, and is. they just need the one. And now it's a 2v2 that looks very winnable. They have such a damage oh, they have lead. such a lead. Man, Wubs and Anime Fan, dude, that's a good strat. It's like, even, even getting a super early knockout on one person doesn't necessarily win you the match. Right. Because that person can extend their later stocks. You want to take them out of the equation yeah. altogether, which is exactly what they did to Koslix. We saw this earlier today. Sparky was talking about where Koslix just didn't get to play the video game because they focus him down. They're like, let's lock him up in team combos, just keep the rotation going, and clean our hands. Yeah. And in the end, they but they lost anyway. Even I know. They, I know. Plan I love the strategy. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit of change, maybe a map change away from working. Man, that went that went so well for them, and still, Ooh. still just didn't work. All right, what's the play? What's the play? Dude, let's go to Grumpy Temple. Come on, guys. That'll Look be cool. at this let's finish, man. They just cleaned it up so well. Wubs has been on an absolute tear. Yeah, I gotta I gotta go back and look through his stats on that one because he had like most of the knockouts, tons of damage. 
I mean, he was getting the early and he knockouts. Had that, he had that top. insane, like, dribble combo off of himself way up in the sky, yeah. nearly getting an extremely early knockout. Oh. Yeah, Webbs is kind of Webbs is kind of nice right now. That's that's for sure. All right, we're going into the next game. I didn't notice what map it was. Let's see. We all find out together. Blackguard oh, keep. Okay, it is cool. a change. I think this is gonna. I think Kostic is gonna do a lot better on Blackguard keep than he did on the uh, on Great Hall. I think so. Yeah, you were looking for things that have the the horizontal nature to them. This one absolutely does. There's less platform space up top, and if somebody's hanging out on those side platforms. That's just one Lance chain away from a knockout. Right, it's so not safe on those outside platforms. Like Lance has to hit you twice. It'll carry you right off. But I think all of these players have good ways to uh, to knock you out early if if, oh, you, yeah. if you went to the side too fast. Whoa, like what? Wow. He nearly got it right there. That pivot neutral signature, that'll knock you out at yellow, man. When you're that close oh, yeah. to the blast zone. Uh oh, Meg D really giving it to Koslix right now. They've already got him a stock down. They're Dude, starting to build the extra credit. That is so the strat. They're like, get Koslix, get him, get him. But it, it, they succeeded in doing that last time and still lost the game. So I don't even, I don't know if that's even well, the right look, play. They, so they've been spreading it out, you know, yeah. a little bit more. Now they've taken a stock off of each of them. They're not letting Anime Fan and Wubs hang out with those stocks early on. Meg D looking very healthy. The only person left with all three stocks, and it's not even in knockout range yet. It's just chilling in orange. Oh, dumb. Scoring knockouts like crazy. Meg D can't be stopped. Look at the handoff to Wubs, and then he immediately pivots back okay. to get damage on two opponents and one friendly fire, Wubs. but that's double worth. Wubs is nice. Wubs is going to do Dude, real Wubs nice. Dude, Wubs is MVP for this set, I, I gotta think, say. Yeah, I think so. Well, the set's not over, but so far, yeah. Uh oh, he's in trouble. He Meg just D. got the one touch. Oh, wow. Bravo, Wubs. Bravo! And he gets the knockout again off the top. Man, Wubs, you are just phenomenal. Taffy! Oh, Taffy can't make it back now on his oh, that's final heartbreaking. stock. Coslick's anime fan and Wubs are bringing it back. I mean, when the stocks, the stocks are even now, well, they were for a second. Yeah. But yeah. it's like. That last game, they were so far ahead and still dropped it. So I, I, I have little faith now in in the lead. The right. Lead if just you blend mean the two much. visions, you're like, oh no, I see where this one is heading. Right. But let's let's see, because anime fans down to one stock now. That was the big advantage that they had there was that they both extended. Yes. Wubs and anime fan extended their second stocks for so long. It's not going to be able to do that one now. Cosmos I mean, maybe, but they still got to take out a uh, Raidish. Koslix is hanging out on that side platform. Oh, and, whoa. oh, okay, all right. Whatever, we take those, that we is absolutely those. That worth. That was a good trade, yeah, that was a good trade. Your teammate had a bunch of damage on him already, so losing that stock when he still had more, that's fine. Taking an entire player out of the equation, always worth it. Okay, now, I don't know if Anime Fan and Webs can bring this one back. This is this, this is different than the they last They got like a, a stock and a third left to their names. Yeah, it's not as, not quite as much as last time. But, hey, we'll see. Oh, Wubs, come on. Wubs is always oh, moving. He's so smooth. Oh, boy. And really anime fan, he's just around. like, don't get knocked out. Even just being alive, uh, being a, 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 a distraction is more valuable oh, yeah. than doing any damage right now. Enemy fan just needs to not be knocked out. And I mean, hey, they've set up the blue team for a couple of knockouts here. Taffy, deep in red, only needs oh, one hit. Enemy oh, no! fan. Oh! He really went for it with that side signature there. It was starting to look like they might have brought it back, but nothing doing, man. Nothing doing. Jeez. So the set is now tied up one to one. Nicely done. All right. Man, Wubs and Anime Fan are a real force to be reckoned with. Seriously. It's just like, it's just not over when you're in the 2v3 with them. It, it's the situational awareness, you know? They they can always keep the eyes in the back of their head. Yeah. So they're just like, oh, you thought you were setting up for oh, a punish on me? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, you thought? We're, we're going to really just leapfrog over that and punish Oh, where are we going? Uh -huh. We might go to, ah. Uh, oh. I wanted to go to Turtle's Lair. I was, well, back I was super to great excited Hall. that. This is looking like a great hall pick. Spirit Realm, they, they, if they're going to Spirit Realm, they've got a plan because that right. is an well, extreme map. It's pretty small for 3v3, yeah. right? 
Oh, yes. And even in those dire situations where you get bounced around down below, you know, it's got the pillar down there, yeah. so you can't yep. really just rotate. The Great Hall. This, this is great. All right, running it back. Same as the first match of the set. Yeah, the first match. Whoa! Oh, man, dude. Uh, get him, get him. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, I mean, it everybody, is everybody a hard on call. Everybody on Costlings. Focus, focus target. Assist me, assist me. Their voice <laughs> chat has one name <laughs> resounding in it, and it's very apparent which one it is. Just look at the damage values up on the top right. The Costlings, is, he's having his vengeance, though. He's really getting a lot off here. He hasn't taken much damage. Much better game for Costlings on this one, man. Remember, this is an elimination match, right? This is uh, the winner oh, of this. Oh, yeah. This is lower, is lower bracket. Out, I mean, the loser of this is out of the tournament in seventh place. Elimination bracket is where things get really heated. Where people get eliminated. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the name. All right, Kostlik's very damaged, but... Look at this. He was the fourth person to lose his stock this time. Okay. After being the first one to lose his stock both times. That is a marked improvement. Oh, Radish was he was charging that one up, but he released it too late. It was he was so ready for a huge combo. Okay, he's still finding it though. Wub's trying to make his way back up to stage, finally arms up with the weapon after getting disarmed. And is he going to finish the edge guard? No, rotates for the extra knockout onto Taffy to wow. bring him down to one. Oh, that's huge. This is such a big lead for anime fan webs and Coslicks. Jeez, just phenomenally played. Oh, man. Four stocks to the seven, I'm sorry, six of the red team. Jeez, Coslicks okay. has been getting to hang around and actually deal some damage this game, and it shows. Oh, anime fans in trouble. Okay, no, he's going around the other side. Meg D. Okay, wait, Meg D's just catching him. Anime fan in trouble now. No, okay, the pressure finally relieved. The anime fan can make it back to the stage. And the moment he gets a breath, he's able to score a knockout onto Meg D. Nicely done by anime fan. Yeah, Koslik's just holding charge on that left-hand side. Anytime that he can get to the outside of a stage, he will then use that to turn around and cut through the center. His teammates know to jump over yeah. that side air, but the opponents, they just get caught. And once again, Koslik's first to fall. That strategy has been prevalent through this entire set. Dude, this, this one's done. I think this is like... Because we've seen huge. what anime fan and wubs do with extra stocks, and right, right. now they got the lead for and now sure. It's, yeah, it's, there's a whole less person to fight this time, too. Oh my gosh. Okay, wubs turns out to be one of the nicest Blasters players in the game right now. I, oh, yeah. I'm surprised. I it just, in, in all this time, I never really knew wubs for Blasters. I never thought of him as like the Blasters guy. Right. You know? Plays a lot of other things extremely well. We'd see the the uh, wub step with uh, Azoth, you exactly. know? Exactly. Yeah, we like, Expo, sure, the whole yeah. Name for it. But with Blasters, man, he is, and he's smooth with it too. He's playing Blasters like they're Katars the way he's moving. Anime fan looking to take out Meg D. Look at the coverage on that corner. Yeah, oh, you couldn't even get I behind him. The hell are you? Oh, that was Red sick. Okay. Woo. GG. Wow. Wubs, wow, wow, anime wow. fan, and Coslix cannot be defeated. Jeez, they were just, they, they got to be so absolutely thrilled. I mean, yeah. they made that work. I mean, they, they went down to having no teammates so very often and just pushed on through. So that puts the set at two to one now, right? I believe so. Pretty sure, two to one. Oh, look at that. Okay, in favor. Oh, yeah. I could have just turned around, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> to find out for sure. Two to one now in favor of Wubs, Kosselix, and Anime Fan, which Ooh. is, by the way, not a team I would have expected, you know? No. This, this is a pretty unlikely squad here. Yeah. Uh, if people great. were like, all right, in 3v3, what are you expecting? Okay, well, the usual 2v2 teams are this and this, this and yeah, this. Plus it's one. just like, no, 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 we'll just these grab are these three guys. players who, like, don't team together usually. Well, but they just mesh so well. Play, play well. They Do you are, think they have they a brawl ball team? That might be Dude, the we difference. Got, we got to do a brawl ball tournament. We got, okay, oh, all right. You're, hold you're on. So let's, right. let's, 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 let's
let's, I'm gonna, we, let's think about that though. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's yeah, all yeah. think like as a community. Let's all just think <laughs> about what that could be like. Pretty, I think probably pretty cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stage bands are happening right now. TWK. Yes. You, you're still thinking that the maps play a big part in this, yeah? I think it absolutely does okay. because uh, we kind of saw. I think the the reverse. The same people who won on Great Hall in Game 1 were the same people who won on Great Hall in Game you're 3. You're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's totally working out, though. So, <gasps> wait a minute. We're going to Grumpy Temple. Nice, dude. Is this the first oh, Grumpy this is gonna Temple be crazy. match This is going to be stream? really weird. I think it is. Wow. I Production is. saying we are, yes. We are receiving confirmation. This is the first streamed match of oh Grumpy Temple. Oh, my gosh. Wait, what year is it? 2015? No, I... psych. It's 2022, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh man! Okay. The return to the tournament. All right. So, so for a lot of you so, that may not be as familiar with this map, it's got those yeah. two separate platforms with a wedge on the outside. Yeah. So that Which, way you can get separate one v ones going, separate two v ones. But you want to jump in here, for yeah, and say yeah. something? Yeah. Well, the, the the two having these two maps out there. You know, uh, this was one of the. This was in the first wave of ranked two v two maps, right? Yeah. But it turned out. It, it wasn't all we weren't like too we big, weren't liking it other, that much. It's yeah, big yeah. And, and you end up having two separate one v ones, which isn't all that cool, right? right. And there but is in a, in that three V right in the middle that is actually a, a piece of hard geometry. It's pretty spicy. So yeah. you, you gotta like go around it if you wanna get up onto the top. Yeah. So I think having the two separate platforms is pretty exciting in a 3v3 because you're never going to have two different 1v1s ah, happening. Yes. There's no room for it. You're, it forces a 2v1 basically all, at all times. <gasps> Big axe recovery from Taffy taking out Koslix. Saved himself from the edge guard and scored a knockout. That's a beautiful turnaround. Yeah. Yeah, talk about that little triangle uh, in, in the middle there. That is a very unique aspect of this map that pretty much definitely just doesn't exist anywhere else. Yeah. And it could be a little bit jank. We have, you know, when two intersecting lines like that come come to meet, and sometimes players oh, can yeah. kind of get through it. We'll see if it happens here. But it is interesting. We saw somebody get some ricochet plays off yeah. of this just a moment ago. It's already. Where if you're sending somebody horizontally, you can end up spiking them down the pit if they bounce off the nose. Right. And then once again, if you're uppercutting somebody out of the pit, you can send them horizontally to your teammate off of the beak. Yeah. Oh, I say the, the beak because I, I like this looks like an owl, you know. Oh, I didn't question that for a second. That okay, totally, great. Yeah. I, uh, you're, Some people are like, totally beak, what are you sense. talking about? That totally makes sense. I'm like, Grumpy Temple looks like a very grumpy owl. I, yeah, it is, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Uh-oh, really Radish grumpy. throwing Wubs down. Wubs having to go with center channel. Ooh. Taffy's there waiting. No! Wubs Managed to barely squeak avoided, by. Barely avoided a weapon throw that surely would have knocked him out. You know, having this center channel, too, you know, it a, oh, a long city. time ago in the past referred to as a shenanigan area. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> But that center channel definitely there is a whole meta in fighting within that channel. Oh yeah, I know you as a guitar player absolutely loves those kind of things. Yeah, just down air dive people down there, and then the perfect nair spikes. You can do it off the wall, combo something right. else, or just spike straight down. But you know when, when but by the time we were, by the time this, by the time we had gauntlets in the game, oh yeah, this map was no longer. It was rotated it, out. We didn't have any. Uh, pits like that in the middle of the map once gauntlets came out i get the feeling that gauntlets even better than Katars in oh, yeah. fighting in that in that thing because you, you have the benefit of the side air that sends them down side air down air neutral but the, air with the ground pound right and the neutral air. you got all everything your light attacks will set up for your ground pound when you're in the pit <laughs> that's, that's thus, exactly right the shenanigan zone <laughs> and thus shenanigans Koslix rotating to that pit meg d trying to chase him down Radish falls. Meg D left alone in a 3v1. This is this is bad news. Now, Meg D, one bit of good news, if there is any in here for Meg D, Radish, and Taffy, is that Meg D has not been touched on this final stock. Okay? So, and he's got he's got a lot of room to move around here in, in Grumpy Temple. Yep. That, in that top platform, they're going to have to have a guy up at the top platform because top platforms allow for quite a bit of kiting. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. The handoffs for all the extra damage. They're going to have to do that every single time. Every time that they yeah. can, they got to pile on as much damage as possible. Because this is, 
Yep. Meg D, he's poised to knock out Koslix. If he gets just that one hit, that's why you see Koslix playing the back support and that's, role. And that's why there's so much running around happening right now, is because Meg D's trying to sneak his way over to Koslix to uh -huh. knock him out. Koslix, he's smart. He knows that oh, he's yes. the target. So he's just kiting. He's literally, he's like, he's a healer running away from Yes, from and the he's DPS like, and now here. you'll have to go through the minefield every time you want yeah, to take a pass at he's, me. He's not, he is not available to be hit. Meg you got to go really, through Wub's an anime fan. And so Meg D is, and that's what he's going to have to do. He's, he's, he's got to oh, get oh, his licks. Oh, right oh my God, oh, let's go. D, but, but, Wait a minute, 2v1 but, combo. Do they have this practice? Oh, no. Well, that was a lot of damage. That was a from, lot of damage. From pure white to almost knocked they out. Really accelerated that lead. Beautiful, Man, beautiful Meg finish. D finally got his hands on Koslix, and he went I to know. red. He went from white to red oh. for uh, for that for that moment of be of getting the knockout. Well, ni nicely done, well played by all parties here. But that's GG. That is GG. That's Anime right. fan Webs and Koslix come out on top. Nice. Man, done. oh man. Yeah, great coverage throughout that whole thing. Koslix rotating away, really just giving Anime Fan and Wubs as many opportunities as possible to tack chip damage onto Meg D over and over.